see my kids. Look at my kids are doing. See my kids aren't working. Let me show you the one I did. I'll show you the ones I. Let me see if you know the ones I. Okay, I did this one, and that one, oh. and that one. And Downtown. You see that downtown picture of mine? Look, it's downtown. I love it. Don't you love it? I like to write music. I like to write poetry. I love to work with animals. I do, uh, I do woodwork with a pen. I do mosaics. I do sculptures. I, I'm manic. So when I get the manic episodes, I do artwork. Because sometimes I'm sitting or else I'm working with, with one of the kids and then I think a co some colors come to me and I think what I want to do with them and then I go boom and then that night I might start on a picture, you know what I mean? Come by here one day and, and she hollered at me and asked, asked me if I needed something to eat. You know, she's giving me a sleeping bag before and giving me food. You know, I'm going to try to do what I can for her too, you know, you know, because I've seen the good that she does. She just takes broken things and makes beauty out of them. And that's what she does with people too. You know, like the kids that come here and all, and just, she's nothing but love, and everything she does is about that. I call Florence the light of Montopolis. Oh, she went to uh, my house. And well, she said, back your room. Yeah. She that's how mine did too. She said, um, y'all can win a bike if y'all come. Yeah. So we, he won the bike. We're all about giving, you know what I'm saying? We just love to help everybody in the community. And that's, that's basically, that's it. because I have a lot of kids with a lot of sorrow around here and they're hurting and they give me all their negative energy because I try to take it from them so they can get strong and I have to get rid of it otherwise while I'll be stressing so then I just go do some artwork. If they want to watch me and copy what I'm doing, that's fine. If they want to make something else or get some sticks together and tell me it's a sculpture, that's even more wonderful. You see, we love things painted because there's a bunch of junk painted around here. This is just a comfortable place that they can do good things and have fun. Men are really stupid because if they love you, they don't know that it's really a love, a different kind of love. They think if they love you like a sister and you're not their sister, they're gonna think they're in love with you. And they're really not, it's really just a love, pure love. That kind of a love is a pure love, they love you, you know? And they don't understand. They think there's only one kind of lust love and it's not true. You know how stupid men are. pieces that I love I give it away I do not like to sell it it's so hard because I put my whole myself in it you know what I mean my materials well most of it is I find it I find wood on the on the street they put it on the side of the house or I find tile when they bust the house down I found the mailbox that somebody threw away and I painted it and made a mosaic out of it and it turned out beautiful you can make stuff that people throw away into beauty Look at what I got. Hard boiled eggs. Hard boiled eggs. What do you want? Here? And I'll give you dozen. Hold that. No. Give these to them kids when you're uh, waiting for it. Here. Because I made five dozen, so take them to your kids. Look at kids over there. They don't have a lot of money. You know they'll eat them, right? Mm -hmm. You know she's so nice, Elijah? She carried the mouse and put it on the couch. She carried the mouse on the couch and put it on there. Yeah, and she wouldn't even hurt it. Wow. Wasn't when she sweet? When she found it. In the kitchen today. And she could have had a bit, you know that? Couldn't she have had a bit? 
You see how tender she carried it like it was her little friend. I love you, baby. You're such a good girl. You don't hurt no animals. You're the perfect dog. He's the perfect dog for comfort house because he don't hurt me, babies. He's non-violent like me. I keep on dreaming more dreams, and I dream big dreams, you know what I mean? My dream right now is to build a solar house. <laughs> uh, big one. So I have more room in it. You know, one of them really good solar houses. Because I can't afford the bills in my house. With my, my little social security, I'm, it's really hard to live day by day because the bills are so high. Wouldn't that be a great dream to happen? Mm -hmm. And guess what? I usually get all my dreams come true. <laughs> Guys, everybody else is famous, and here I am, an old lady, you know how hard it is? Why would they pick an old lady like me to put on their top space, and they got thousands of friends? I'm gonna, I'm gonna write him a message. Watch, watch, he's gonna help us. We are trying to build a solar house if you have any ideas how to raise money power? That's